These bloodstains on the Youth for the Future Drive mark where 22-year-old Colin Sutherland lost his life on Sunday evening. Around 6.30 on New Year's Day, Sutherland was walking here in front of the gas station where he was shot and killed. A man lay waited him in a vehicle, got out, shot and killed him as he walked with friends. On Sunday, January 1st, sometime around 6.30 p.m. thereabout, police responded to a shooting incident on the Youth for the Future Drive right in front of the Belchena gas station. Upon arrival at the location, police observed the wounded body of a male person identified as Colin Sutherland. He was rushed to the KHMH where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Investigation so far revealed that Sutherland, along with two others, were walking on Youth for the Future Drive towards Vernon Street. When they passed a car which was parked on the side of the street from which a male person alighted, armed with a firearm, pursued Colin, eventually caught up with him and uh, fired the shots which eventually led to the demise of Sutherland. Sutherland's family declined interview but stressed that he wasn't involved in any criminal undertaking, that while he had relatives known to the police, he wasn't among them, a point that the police also confirmed to us. Police say that they're investigating whether Sutherland's murder is connected to the other murders in the city. From what we are gathering is that the murder of Sutherland may be connected. As uh, I had asked your uh, colleague, we had indications that um, this gentleman's murder is connected, may, may, may be connected to Mr. Sutherland's murder. Can you share any information that police have which may lead to such a conclusion? It may be, but I cannot share any information that can directly say with certainty that it is linked. Are these two men from the same neighborhood? Which two men? Uh, Mr. Sutherland and JP. Mr. Gillett, Mr. Gillett, as far as I know, is a resident of Hattieville. And Mr. Sutherland, is he somebody police had encountered in the past before, sir, or is he a, a, a law-abiding citizen? When will you people understand that I don't answer those questions where the character of a deceased person is being questioned. A man is dead, let him leave him to die with his dignity. But as far as I can tell you, knowing that he is not involved, I'll tell you that he is not a person who is known to police like that. Yes, he had brothers who are known to police, but not him. For the Sutherland murder, do you all have any suspects, sir? We are, we are told that um, police had picked up several individuals. We are looking for some people of interest who we believe may be able to assist our investigation. We have not been able to come across those persons as yet, but as soon as we do, and the investigation has moved a bit farther, then we'll brief the media as to where we are. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.